Hi, my name's Martin Brown. I do the training for Invitec Drives Limited. Today I'm going to show you how to connect up and commission an E2 drive. The information for this is in the handbook, it's on the web, and it's also on the help card, which is built in to, the, to every drive here. Always remember to install the drive in a clean and dry environment. Most drives fail because they get dirty or wet. Connect the supply to the E2 drive at the top here. Check you have the right drive for your supply as E2 drives are available in different voltages. Connect L1 and L2 for single phase supplies. Always connect the earth or ground for safety reasons and also for electromagnetic compatibility compliance. The drive will need fusing or additional protection as well. Take a look at the manual for this information. Connect the motor to the E2 at the bottom. Many motors can be connected in star or delta for different supply voltages. In this case, the motor is delta connected for 230 volt three phase operation. Connect the motor cable to the U, V and W terminals. The earth wire goes in here. Now for the control wiring. Connect an enable switch to terminals 1 and 2. I'm using a loose switch so you can see what's going on. You always need to make this connection even if you are controlling the drive from a built-in panel. A simple wire link can be fitted in this case. Now we'll connect the pot. We're using a loose pot again so you can see what's happening. Terminal 5 is the 10 volt output. Terminal 6, the analog input, so that's the wiper. And terminal 7 is a 0 volts. The default settings on the analog input is 0 to 10 volts, which suits us here, but you can choose other settings such as 0 to 20 or 4 to 20 milliamps. Now is the time to set the motor parameters. It's important to set the motor parameters to give us the best efficiency and performance on the motor and also to protect the motor. So a long press on the navigate button brings us to the parameters. We scroll through then to the parameter that we're interested in. In this case parameter 7 is the motor voltage. Short press takes us to that parameter. This is already set to 230 volts so we don't need to change it. Short press back to parameter then scroll to parameter 8. Here's the motor current now. We need to adjust this to a lower value to help protect the motor. This motor is a 1.9 amp motor. We can now go to parameter 9, which is the motor frequency. Again, this is already set to 50 hertz, so we don't need to change it. A long press to exit parameter settings, and we're back to the stop condition. With the drive running, a short press on the navigate button will show frequency or current. There's no load on this motor at the moment, so the current's quite low.
If you get stuck, you can reset the parameters by pressing the up, down and stop button simultaneously. The parameters go back to their uh, parameter definition. We can then go back to the stop condition by pressing the, the reset or stop button again. I hope this video has been useful for you. Look out for more videos from Invertech to get the best from your drives or go to www.invertech.co.uk. Thanks.